Hi, I am Handy, and let's take a look at how to use X-ray test case management software to create acceptance criteria that are integrated with Jira issues. I will be assuming that you know what Jira is, the ticketing software and also project management software, and how to use Jira. And I will also assume that you have knowledge in uh, functional analysis and testing. So X-Ray is integrated within Jira and this is just a crash course. Uh, you can get more information or uh, further documentation in the getting started and documentation here. So X-Ray provides a getting started page and video if you want to know how the software testing principles and practices map to the X-Ray test case management software. And also X-Ray provides a thorough documentation on how to use uh, their software, which I will cover uh, very shortly. So before we start to testing, let's uh, review a bit on how we structure the project. So I will be working with Earthquake Catcher Network software project. And we have project versions. In this case, I will be wor working with the uh, version 2.1. And it's also useful to know what are the components in this software project. So in this case, I will be working with the Earthquake web app project. And if you have a suggestion on how, if you want another component to be added to the project, please discuss with the project manager. Okay, so that's the structure of the project. How do we structure the issues or the software requirements themselves? As is typical in Scrum or Agile Jira projects, we structure the issues using three levels. The first level is epics, which is like the greater overall uh, features or divisions of the features. And then the features themselves are stories inside the epics. And then each uh, story will have uh, subtasks. That is the last uh, or the third level of the stories. Okay, so let's take a look at this page. How uh, do I create a functionality a specification and the test for uh, this page. So usually uh, I will be using the mobile uh, version because uh, most of the functionality specification should be mobile first. Okay, so for example, this page has a summary title, interactive map, regional information and felt report. I have a created a dummy story for this. So let's take a look in the full issue view. And if uh, you are using the new view, please go to the old view. Usually there will be a prompt here if you want to go to the old view. This is the old view one. Now there are a bit of useful fields that can be filled when creating an uh, issue or story. Uh, of course, there are there is summary, and then the component or components usually just one. Oh, this should be an earthquake. Okay, 
in description we can write it uh, in a persona need and purpose structure so for example for this one and as a rescue personnel I want to see summary of infor inform important information about an earthquake so that I can get a better understanding of the earthquake in very short time okay so this is the persona and then uh, what is uh, is needed or what is the main feature and what is the benefit of this feature these are the very minimal of course you can add uh, any other description or illustration as you see fit for example this have a title interactive map regional information and felt report I can create a simple diagram to do that and let's name this then I can create maybe summary and then several boxes that represents interactive map regional information and felt report Now I can save this as a PNG file to the same folder and it's best uh, to sync this install Google Drive now that this file is available in the Google Drive I can insert that file and upload it to Jira. And insert. Okay. The next is version. I'm working with version 2.1 here. And what is the priority? Labels is quite important. For example, and this way I put labels on each of the uh, terminology or important information in this feature and of course uh, you can also suggest or use additional labels as you see fit and this is the attachment currently we don't have tests here and there's no one to assign at this point and usually there will be an epic link but to shorten the tutorial uh, let's assume there is no epic link here and when the project is started there's usually a sprint here but at this point we're just building the product backlog okay so now we have built our story and as this is a story if you want we can also create a subtask in here uh, to create a story that is the third level of the hierarchy next we'll create the test before going into tests let's review some terminology in x-ray in x-ray there are test sets tests and test plans so a test set is a way to group in a flat list of 
actual tests or scenarios. Uh, there is another more complex uh, version, uh, complex way that is called a test repository uh, that allows you to group tests or scenarios in a hierarchical nested way. But for simplicity, uh, let's just use test sets for now. And then inside those test sets, there are tests that uh, each one of the tests is an, a scenario that tests a feature or a story or a subtask or even an epic. And, and then there will be a test plan. But let's focus on test sets and tests for now. So let's create a test set. In here, choose test set. Let's see, maybe basic earthquake functionality. Okay. And this is about the earthquake web app. You can put any description here. And this test will apply to which version or versions, priority labels so on and also the labels that this test set is about we also want to link this test test set to one or maybe more than one features or stories that are uh, tested by this test set so for example this is uh, for ECN1 and maybe there are more. And that's it. We are creating a test set. But the test set in itself does not do anything. It's just a way like a folder to group tests. But a test can also be inside more than one test set. So that's uh, some flexibility. So how to use uh, to create a test? We create a test. This is one scenario of a feature. So let's say I want to make sure that interactive map, regional information, and felt report is here. Display interactive map, regional information, and felt report. And the component is Earthquake Web App. I can also use the persona need purpose structure here. You can fill the other fields as usual. Now this is important for traceability, uh, which features or stories that this test is testing. So usually for each test, there is only one feature that is uh, being tested, but it, it can actually be more. Okay, now this is one test, but this is just the skeleton of the test. The real content of the test itself is in the details. Actually, I don't think the description is necessary. I think just the summary is important and the test details itself. So first, uh, we're going to use the cucumber type. This is uh, using a Gherkin language. It's like English, but with some structure. And it may be converted uh, or to be used in automated testing in the future. So it's quite flexible. Now we can add a scenario. 
So how to write it is that you can Google about uh, Gherkin syntax. So basically, uh, we have given, so uh, we just use the part uh, after this scenario because this will be generated by X-ray. Well, what we want is just from the given and then when and then then. So given something, uh, you can add and or but and then when uh, some action is done and then then do something. So for example, given the user selected or visited a specific earthquake page when the summary page is shown then interactive map box is shown and regional information box is shown and felt report box is shown so basically these are the gherkin keywords that are needed uh, usually we have at least uh, given when and then but sometimes in some cases not always necessary and we can add uh, with and or but uh, and for so on and you can look at the details in the gherkin documentation but it, it's actually very simple and then it's done so you can read it uh, the developer can read it and the nice thing about separating the interactive map and the regional information in the felt report is that in the future this can be separated to different uh, automatic uh, testing functions so it's more uh, portable than uh, putting all of these three in one sentence this is uh, why it's separated we can also put the and uh, as the given clause for example and earthquake is not restricted maybe uh, this is not part but just I want to uh, illustrate a scenario so basically we have a precondition here right but what if we have lots of uh, uh, complex precondition here or that a specific precondition is used by several tests in that case, we can also create a precondition, which, surprise, is also a Jira issue type. So this precondition can then be used by several uh, attests at once. So, for example, I'm not very creative at this point, but let's just say that a user is not bad blacklisted as a precondition. And uh, let's just skip things just to make it quick. And you can see there is a precondition uh, here. And if we see the precondition details is actually you can write it in Cucumber as well. So for example, so these are our, our examples. So in uh, Gherkin language, uh, the precondition is called a background. So, for example, given a global ex administrator named Greg and the blog and a customer and so on. So, we can uh, write such uh, precondition here in a Cucumber language or Gherkin language. So, for the sake of completion, let's say that uh, given browser client IP address is known and client IP address is not uh, included or is not part of the blacklisted IP addresses okay so that's it that's a precondition and this precondition can then be used by multiple tests Another feature of uh, X-Ray or Gherkin language that can be useful is the use of scenario outlines. So instead of, uh, for example, there are 
scenarios that are actually similar, just the values and outputs are different, we can use a scenario like this. So how to use it in X-ray? It's actually the same way. So let's go back. I want to go back to the test set. So if you notice here, the test that I just created is not associated yet. So I actually have to associate that test first. Uh, we can associate multiple tests at one, actually. If I read on the documentation, there's actually a way when creating a test so that it's automatically associated with the test set. but I still haven't figured it out yet how to configure that. So maybe it's uh, better to just create the tests first and then add those tests together to the uh, each test set yet that you want. So let's see how to create a test or scenario that uh, displays the summary information uh, correctly. proper summary title. Okay, um, let's uh, skip the other things, but let's assume that I've filled uh, all of these fields. So, okay, so the test details is a uh, cucumber. And then have to make sure uh, this is important. I forgot to put the issue. This issue is test uh, ECN1. So the scenario is if I'm viewing this, or the, this ID of the earthquake, then this summary should be shown. So how do I do that? Let's see that given, so you put the variables inside of uh, these uh, brackets. So maybe given user use earthquake with ID ID, then when uh, summary page is shown, then title should be title. Uh, you can have more, for example, and um, this one time. So now we can put examples below. Make sure to add a indentation. It automatically uh, gives the indentation. So the columns are ID, title, and time. So this earthquake's ID is this. And that means the title should be okay and to go back to this one to select and then it's time should be this okay that's one earthquake maybe let's try uh, to give it another example so this one is the 6.9 in Planting Indonesia, and then the title then the time okay and of course you can add uh, more examples if uh, necessary so this will be a 
a good way to create uh, several scenarios in uh, just one test with different values or uh, expected outputs. And of course, you can also create precondition and so on. And make sure that after creating the tests, you associate them with with the test set. Okay, it's already associated. But if not, then uh, just make sure. So that's it. Uh, that's how to create stories and tests. But uh, there is also uh, another feature that is called the test plan, where this is sort of uh, the middle phase between uh, after the tests are uh, created and before uh, the executions are run. So if there is a need to order the tests or which tests are uh, done and which are uh, which which tests are will be executed and which ones will be skipped, so this is part of the test plan. And as we can see that uh, the tests and the test sets link to the uh, requirement issue. So this is traceable and the feature or story itself is also, uh, also shows what tests uh, cover this uh, feature or story. And when it's time to execute this test, then X-Ray provides uh, functionality to create uh, an execution uh, for this for this feature and of course we can also uh, execute tests based on a test set or a test plan okay that's uh, that's it that's the tutorial for how to use x-ray for uh, writing tests and uh, scenarios I hope this is uh, useful and I hope this is clear enough uh, there's always more documentation in the X-Ray uh, documentation website and you can also go to the uh, support page for uh, expand uh, X-Ray developers. You can submit a problem report or uh, ask a question and I, I think they will be uh, answering uh, the, any of your question. Uh, because it is a supported product and but I hope that what I shared to you today is uh, useful for uh, getting a quick start into using x-ray okay thank you and have a good day